frustration, clients that are investors, um, bankers, you know, money managers, and similar often expressed to me, takes two forms. <clears throat> so the first form is they're in a situation where they're aware of a market opportunity coming up. They want to capitalize on it. Um, and at the crucial time that they need to take action, something has happened in their personal life, which has thrown them off and they've missed the trade. They've missed the opportunity. Uh, the second one has to do with the frustration that's often experienced and felt, uh, especially by GAN traders, where you have the apparent bottomless pit of searching for the missing secret, you know, the secret missing ingredient. Um, some solutions out there purport to fill in that gap. And some of these solutions, you know, certainly seem reasonable. The idea being you want to try to replicate the success that GAN had. Um, so, you know, you see solutions like those, you know, provided by individuals like Bradley Cowan, you know, uh, a variety of uh, online, you know, schools, classes, books, seminars on the GAN materials. A lot of value there. You know, one of the downsides is, of course, that in many situations you're looking at thousands of dollars potentially of investment in study materials. And so you're also in the situation where you have to upfront invest a lot more time, energy, and effort to apply that understanding. So there's a solution that comes to mind uh, that's absolutely critical that actually addresses both those concerns really well. And it's much lower cost, takes a lot less effort. And for you know some weird reason, most traders, investors, you know, whether you're like a currency trader, commodities trader, um, it's just missed. Uh, and it's understandable why it's missed. I'm going to outline what the problem is, what, what the solution is, and you know what, what you can do, you know, to avail yourself of this. And so a big solution here um, that most traders miss is they're, they're paying attention to cycles in the market, what's happening, you know, in the, the target. So, you know, there's a, an awareness of how is the general public, you know, conscious collective behaving, responding, you know, how is it taking action uh, and how is this affecting the peaks and troughs in market cycles. But there's almost little to none uh, attention paid to what's happening with them individually. You know, they're not aware of what what is the personal cycle? What is the definitive, you know, descriptive qualitative state of themselves in relation to the market they're tracking? You know, it, it's no wonder that I, I get this common story where somebody, you know, calls me up and and, and understandably they're they're feeling grief. Uh, and they've been tracking a market opportunity for might have been a couple of days, might have been a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, maybe years. And then right at that pivotal moment when they needed to take action, you know, and, you know, place the investment, something exploded uh, in their personal life. Might have been, you know, like a family crisis. Uh, you know, I mean, it can take all kinds of different forms. So what's happening here is that when these traders experience this situation, they've only been tracking the market cycle. There's three cycles that have to be tracked at, the, at a minimum. One is the market cycle. Um, and there's lots of methods and tools for doing that, you know, within the GAN domain, you know, many of which are already within the average trader's reach. Uh, but then you also have to track, you know, what's happening um, energetically cycle-wise for the individual who's observing the markets. Then we also have, you know, that last layer of what's the interaction or what's the adaptive adjustment and hybridization of the person in relation to the markets. So we have three tiers here um, and only one tier is being engaged actively by, you know, the average trader. So how do we fix that? Well, <clears throat> chances are that if your bottom line is to do well and to make profit and avoid loss, which it probably is, 
uh, you need to understand how you're going to function in relation to the background cycles that are affecting the market and you. And when you come to that realization that you as an individual are going to, you know, have a different constitution than other traders, there's going to be times when the traders are all experiencing the same market cycle, but individually, uh, they're going to have different levels of adaptation and they're going to have different realization of potential opportunities. So what that really boils down to is that let's say that you and some friends or associates are tracking an opportunity window and maybe there's a dozen of you and you know there's a percentage of you that do well and then you've got a gradient you know within that some do okay some not so okay the way that you manage that is you you pay attention and you take advantage of and you make use of tools that you know gauge your own cycle personally so you know which curbs on the uptick to engage in and which to not bother with this is why i mean some of you have noticed for instance that you'll do really well like you'll you'll make gains for a period of time uh when you know the market activity is not necessarily hugely significant you know like you've made a profit you've avoided loss you know maybe the market cycle uh had small peaks but you did really well you know maybe the market cycle had you know you know, small troughs, you did really well. So, you know, one of the big keys here that's missing, and it's just simple, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars, you know, taking expensive, lengthy, you know, what's the hidden, you know, chicken, you know, soup recipe type, you know, course. Uh, you just make sure that you understand how you're being affected personally. And then, you know, the, the really the ideal thing is that you use analytic tools that give you clear insight into where you're at over the period of time. You could do it for like a month, you know, a financial quarter for the year, graph it out, take a look at, you know, where are you in your optimal state? You know, are you at a high point? Are you, you know, in a trough? And then correspond that cycle to the market cycle um, background. You know, you can do this as a graph. Uh, and then trade when, you know, you're on the upsurge and that coincides with market upsurge. Your, your chances of probable success are just going to go up. You know, that's not to say that you can't or shouldn't trade, you know, when your um, personal state is down and markets are up or that you shouldn't trade when, you know, your, you know, your personal state is up and markets are low. What it means is that you're proactively aware of what's going on so that your decision-making process is better. If you know that you're not in the best state, you know, you're feeling groggy, maybe for some reason you haven't been sleeping very well, markets are on the uptick, you know, even though you've got that rising opportunity, the likelihood is that you're probably not going to be in the best decision-making process. So what are some of the, the methods and tools that you can use to actually apply this in a practical, profitable way? There's a number of resources, you know, I've collected because I get people that are traders or investors dealing with managing, you know, property finances on a regular basis. Uh, and what I've done is surveyed some of the most meaningful and important resources. Uh, one of these resources is a fellow uh, who's been actively engaged. His background is electrical engineering. Um, but he also has a remarkable understanding of natural cycles and the markets. And, you know, he's a super expensive person, uh, probably one of the highest priced uh, services on the planet for what he does. It's unique. You are not going to find the same kinds of information. I have, I have not seen it uh, to this degree of clarity on any online resources other than his take. And I've reviewed, you know, I mean, you'll, you'll get bits and pieces of it, but because of his background, he draws a really amazing holistic, you know, presentation of what's happening. What this allows you to do is to actually understand the phenomena behind, you know, what's affecting the market and you personally in a really tangible, clear, scientific way. Um, you know, a lot of times when we're studying the GAN materials, a significant amount of head knowledge 
uh, in a very narrow spectrum can be developed and applied successfully. What's often lacking, though, and again, it's understandable because a lot of the stuff that GAN developed was, you know, early in the century. But with this particular um, person that I'm referring to, uh, he actually describes the why and the what. So when you're using GAN tools for forecasting, um, this brings a lot more insight into what the natural phenomena actually is, and it fills in some of the qualitative understanding that's missing. Uh, and this is helpful because it it's allows us to build an awareness as to how impulse may be directed because of the natural phenomena. Uh, and then there's also a number of other resources that I've collected, and it describes you know how biology is affected, you know uh, how you can be more aware of this, and uh, you know additional resources include, you know how can you become more aware? You know you're in a situation where you've developed. GAN related materials, which might include a form of scientific astrology, you know, practically applied, you know, to finances. Uh, but that does not mean that you have necessarily the same understanding as to how it affects you biologically or your consciousness. You need to have that information. You know, if you're going to dramatically optimize your ability to adapt, adjust, and profit from markets, especially when we're going into the volatile period of 2018 and all of the turbulent years that follow, if you don't have this information and you're only relying, you know, on GAN forecasting tools without the special, you know, insight and clarity into you, your constitution, how are you being affected, it's going to affect your trades. And it could make the difference between loss or gains. Uh, certainly you want to have consistent gains over time when we're going through a chaotic market. In the bottom of this video in the comment section, there's a link. Uh, I would suggest, this is free information. Uh, you're welcome to check it out. You can click on that link. Um, there's a simple information to fill in, shoot that off to me, and I'll make sure that you've got access to these resources. Hope that's helpful, and thank you to the clients that have expressed an interest in this on an ongoing basis. Take care, everyone.